And that's how Moroccan students celebrate the end of the academic year. They've all just broken up for summer from the most celebrated and creatively audacious fashion school on the African continent, the Casamoda Academy. It's been opening its doors to eager fashionistas for seven years now and was the brainchild of the Association for Moroccan Textile and Clothing, its response to a rapidly evolving sector. Up until recently, the textile sector was mainly centered around mass-produced fabrics, so we decided to move from that sweatshop model to the fashion economy. Before producing and selling a product, you first need to create it. Transmitting cultural savoir-faire is much more complicated than transmitting engineering or technical knowledge. So we needed to start with a big project, and a school was the perfect starting point. Morocco is so often seen as a huge source of inspiration for great fashion designers. We now want Morocco to become a country of designers. The school is financed by the Moroccan government in conjunction with businesses and also the French development agency. The creative curriculum was assembled by an esteemed French fashion school, l'atelier Chardon Savard. What we're seeking to do here at l'atelier Chardon Savard is to develop our students' personal universes, which in turn leads to them creating very varied collections. We're working on the quality of their creative processes and not at all on the specific aesthetics of their collections. It's them who will be creating the fashion of tomorrow, after all, not us. Students come from across Morocco, and everyone's welcome, irrespective of their personal clothing choices. People often ask me how many of our students wear the veil. I always answer, I have no idea, because it's not something I notice. In our school, we try to maintain some extremely important values, namely freedom, tolerance and kindness, because in order to create clothes, you need to be in a Zen sort of atmosphere. It needs to be calm. No, religious dress doesn't pose any problems at all. On the contrary. King Mohammed VI may be angling for growth in his country's textile industry, but as it stands, being a fashion designer is by no means a respectable career choice in Morocco. Some families find it hard to give would-be designers their blessing. At the beginning, we just didn't get it. We wanted him to be an engineer or a doctor, but we're going to support him in his passion. There you go. You can't force children to do anything. You need to let them choose what they want to do. Otman's entire family came with him to Marrakesh to support him as he bought the fabrics to make his collection, a collection he called Mutation. If you've seen my work, you'll have noticed that there's a real strength to them. Encountering difficult periods in our lives makes us stronger as people. It's about having self-confidence. That's the message behind it all. In attendance, a guest with a particularly keen eye. Olivia Doucher is head of dressmaking at Chanel. She misses nothing. When you see that there's a unifying theme, that there are certain things that repeat themselves, things that might be barely noticeable even, but it gives everything a sense of coherence, that's how you can tell the collection's been really worked at, that its theme has been respected. It's all in the detail. Everything's in the detail. That's what I love. Unlike the senior class which works on personal projects, first-year students work on a series of pre-selected themes and wearability isn't key. It doesn't make human intimacy a bit difficult? Uh, it does, and actually that quite suits me. I feel protected. It's actually spiky, a bit too much. Good luck to anyone trying to get too close. The curriculum practiced at the Casa Moda Academy pushes students to reflect on the societies they come from as they develop their own vision of the world. I was inspired by Corto Maltese's cartoons. My universe is androgynous. My work is both masculine and feminine. My silhouettes are for both men and women. And after androgynous Sara, it's Zineb the feminist and her bold slogan, brains are the new tits. There's a little definition of feminism on my transparent dress, in case men wanted to look. Because here in Morocco, it can be difficult for free and active women to assert themselves. Feminism is a person who believes in the social, political 
and economical rights. So yeah, it's about equality between the sexes, which we haven't achieved in Morocco. So yeah, that's my cause and it always will be. Change needs to happen and we're starting now. As for modelling the collections, well, the students do it themselves. The school doesn't have the cash to hire professionals. We need to believe we can do it. We need to have hope. Because hope is in short supply these days. And this type of school gives us a lot of hope for the future. Hope that we so badly need. <laughs> Students at the Casamoda Academy have everything they need to prepare them for the world of international fashion. It's now up to Morocco's textile industry to work out how to make the most of the talent rising through the ranks. Reporters, presented by Mark Owen. Manaus, Brazil, a drug trafficking hub and the scene of violent confrontations between gangs. Illegal drug deals are often organized from behind bars. Following a hardline response from police, what does the future hold for the Amazon's biggest city? Find out in Reporters. Reporters on France 24 and France24.com.